Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this uh, given uh, cubic equation x power 3 minus uh, x square minus 100 equal to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, equation. Our highest uh, degree is uh, 3. So the possible solution we are supposed to have uh, equal to 3. And since we are dealing with this uh, cubic equation, so our very first step uh, is to look for uh, one of the solutions uh, for this uh, equation. Let's try x uh, equal to 0 and see if this is our solution. So wherever we see x, we are going to replace uh, by 0. And we can see that this becomes uh, 0 power 3 minus uh, 0 square minus 100. My question is, is this uh, left hand side uh, equal to the right hand side? And if we simplify, we can see that negative 100 uh, equal to 0. And we can see that is a false uh, statement. So that means x equal to 0 is uh, not uh, our solution. Now let's try x equals to 1. So that means wherever we see x, I'm going to replace that 1 by 1. And here I have substituted x by 1. And if we simplify everything once again, negative 100 turns out to be equal to 0. This is once again a false statement. So that means x equal to 1 is not our solution. And likewise, if we try x equal to 2, x equal to 3, and x equal to 4, and we could see that none of these are our solutions. So they are not our solutions. And now we are going to try x equal to 5. And let's hope it's going to work. I'm going to replace x by 5 and over here 5 as well. And here I replaced x by 5 over here. And let's see if the left hand side is equal to right hand side. And now we know that uh, 5 power 3 is uh, 125 minus uh, 5 square is uh, 25 minus 100 uh, question mark. Is it equal to the right hand side? And here we can see if we add and subtract, that's going to give us a 0 on the left hand side. And we have a 0 on the right hand side as well. And now we can see that this indeed is a true statement. So that means uh, x equal to 5 uh, is indeed uh, our one of the solutions. So once we figure out uh, one of the solutions, we can easily figure out uh, two other uh, solutions. And here's our next step. We are going to apply the synthetic uh, division. And now let me show you how we are going to use uh, this uh, synthetic division on this uh, left hand side polynomial. And now let's focus on the left hand side. We got uh, x power 3, x power 2 and x power 1 is uh, missing, isn't it? So therefore, I'm going to write uh, this uh, polynomial on the left hand side as uh, 1 uh, x power 3 with the coefficient 1 minus this uh, x power 2 could be written as negative 1 x power 2 and since x is missing so I'm going to put down plus uh, 0 x and then uh, negative uh, 100 equal to 0 and now let's focus on these uh, coefficients 1 negative 1 0 and this uh, constant uh, negative uh, 100 and here I'm going to write down these coefficients and constants uh, over here I'm going to write down 1 and this uh, negative 1, 0 and negative 100 over here. And we know our one of the solutions is x equal to 5. So I'm going to write down this 5 outside. And now let me show you how we're going to perform this synthetic division. Let me go ahead and look at this uh, 1. Let me go ahead and bring it down all the way 1 over here. And now let's go ahead and cross multiply. I'm going to multiply this 5 with this uh, 1 over here. And if we multiply 1 times 5, I'm going to write down 5 over here. Let's uh, add these two numbers. That is going to give us uh, 4. And now let's multiply this 5 with 4 uh, now. And if we multiply 4 times 5 is going to give us uh, 20. Let's add these uh, two numbers. So that is going to give us uh, 20. And finally, once again, I'm going to multiply this 5 
with uh, 20. If I multiply 5 times 20 is going to give us uh, positive uh, 100. Let's go ahead and add uh, these uh, two numbers. We are going to get uh, 0 and this uh, 0 number is our remainder. So once we have a remainder uh, 0, we are going to ignore this one and we're going to focus uh, on these uh, coefficients. The first one is going to be a constant number. This is the coefficient of x and the next one is going to be the coefficient of uh, x square. So let's go ahead and uh, multiply them out. So this is going to give us 1 times uh, x square and this when we multiply them that is going to give us positive for x and this is just simply constant. So I'm going to write down uh, plus uh, 20 and that is equal to 0 and after this uh, synthetic division we are ended up uh, with this uh, quadratic uh, equation. For more videos on the synthetic division please check out the link uh, below in the description uh, box. And now let's go ahead and uh, solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic uh, formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. And in our case uh, our coefficient uh, a is uh, 1, b is uh, 4, and finally this constant uh, c is uh, 20. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic uh, formula. x equal to minus b is uh, 4 plus uh, r minus uh, the square root of uh, 4 square minus uh, 4 times a is 1, c is uh, 20 all over 2 times a is 1 and now in this uh, next step 4 square is uh, 16 and minus uh, 4 times uh, 20 is going to give us uh, 80 and now we can see 16 minus 80 is going to give us uh, negative 64 and now let's recall the imaginary number i i is always equal to square root of uh, negative 1 and sometime uh, this imaginary number i is called iota. So therefore uh, this square root of uh, negative uh, 64 is going to become 8 uh, times uh, i. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, negative uh, 64 square root uh, as uh, 8 times i. And since we are running out of space over here so therefore I have copied down uh, this over here. And now let me go ahead and split uh, this one uh, up as a partial of fractions. So therefore this could be written as x equal to negative 4 divided by 2 plus r minus uh, 8i divided by 2 as well. And here uh, we can see negative 4 divided by 2 is going to give us uh, negative 2 and 8 divided by 2 reduces to 4. And if we split positive and uh, negative signs then we are going to get uh, two solutions. The first one is x equal to negative 2 plus uh, 4 times i and the other solution is going to be x equal to negative 2 minus uh, 4 times i and these uh, two solutions are our imaginary solutions or sometimes we call it uh, complex uh, solutions since we are dealing with these uh, imaginary numbers i and our uh, this uh, third solution is x equal to 5 and that is our uh, real solution and thus here are our uh, three solutions out of which uh, this is our real solutions whereas uh, these two are our uh, imaginary solutions. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.